Hello, this is um, Ben uh, explaining the rules to uh, my ultralight game that can be played with any collection of objects on any sort of markable or surface. Um, currently calling it rock line, but because I came up with it playing with rocks, but I suppose uh, neither name is really appropriate. Anyway, um, you start by uh, having the two players. It's, it's an abstract strategy game. Uh, you have the two players each uh, choose and agree upon a collection of objects that each player gets to use. So here we have one player gets uh, these pieces here, and then for the sake of fairness, uh, this player is getting these pieces here, which are basically the same. Um, and then each player uh, designates a goal. So let's have uh, this player, their goal is these two squares. And then the other player's goal is going to be, um, or actually let's have them be these two squares. And the uh, other player's goal is these two squares over here. And I can mark them by uh, the, putting two of my son's little Duplo guys on the squares to show that these are the ones that, these two squares are that goal. So there's two and two uh, squares in between that are the playing field. Although really, you can go off in any direction. So you start off by the players agreeing on the pieces they're going to use. Then you agree on the goals that you've created for yourselves. So this player would get to choose whatever shape and size goal they wanted. That player could choose whatever shape and size goal they wanted as long as they both agree before they start playing, it's anything goes. Then, uh, taking turns, they will place one of their pieces either in their goal, so anywhere in these two squares is fine, or behind it somewhere. It could be anywhere behind it. It could be ten yards behind it if, it wanted, if, you, if I wanted to, although I can't imagine why I'd want to do that. Um, and then uh, we take turns just to putting pieces down. And so let's uh, let's just do this really quick. And let's just. And I'm doing this not entirely randomly, but I can imagine some sort of strategy emerging from this. But I honestly don't know what what that strategy would be at this point because I've only played the game twice. So there we go. All. Each player has set their five pieces on the board. And uh, then play commences. Um, essentially, a turn consists of choosing a piece and um, picking it up. And once you've picked up a piece, you are committed to moving that piece. Picking it up, and you can put it anywhere you want as long as it is touching another one of your pieces and is not laying on top of another piece. So we could go ahead and do something like this. Oh, and yeah, at this point it makes sense to talk about what the goal of the game is. The goal is for me, to, for this player, is trying to get any of their pieces to touch anywhere in the, that goal. This player is trying to get any of their pieces to touch anywhere in this goal. It doesn't have to be the whole piece, just a little tiny piece of it anywhere in those squares. So uh, now for the second turn, I could go ahead and do something like this. Now notice it doesn't actually matter. I can orient these pieces however I want. Since there's no like grid-based movement of any kind, I can angle them however I want. Um, and uh, so let's see what happens here. They're just coming out to meet each other. And uh, let's say this player is going to Actually, oh, I picked this one up already. Play mistake, oh, crucial. And uh, let's say this player is then going to pick this one up and uh, come off of right there. And uh, this player is going to take that one and kind of branch off. You don't even have to touch the corners together or anything. You can really do this in any way that you're, is physically possible. So I'm just choosing to put them just close enough together that we won't be able to sneak through any pieces. And in the meantime,
meantime, this guy is just trying to barrel on through. Now, let's see if that works. So I'm going to pick this up and uh, go ahead and just try and put the kibosh on that. At which point they can you know, do something like this. And you can see that. Um, you know, blocking can be kind of, actually successfully blocking can be kind of tricky. But it looks like I am going to be able to get an advantageous angle here. So you can see that slightly over the course of this, the player with the yellow block, the advancing player, is having to kind of arc their pieces uh, out a little bit, sort of creating a curve going this way. Whereas this player is successively, the green and red player, is uh, being able to play successively and just kind of keep them going off that way, so maybe that's not advantageous. But then, of course, this player could just come on this side. And, oh no, so close to the goal, probably unstoppable. And this player comes over and does... goes here... Hasn't quite made it to the goal, but it's not really anything to be done now. Boom. So that player wins. Obviously, I wasn't playing incredibly strategically here, but I think there are actually quite a lot of uh, possibilities here as far as setting up more effective defensive lines um, in advance. I think kind of like... Um, Nash, or Hex as it's called, um, that uh, you have to release your strategy up in advance. Okay, bye.